how's it going everyone today we're going to be jumping into ninja road and i'm going to be showing you how you can get toby five kage league maxed out easily i know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video so we're going to go ahead and jump into it and i've been holding off on it mostly just because i'm not even leveling this man up like if you look at my five kage league toby he is still level one because i don't have enough ramen to get him maxed out and i don't feel like grinding ninja road i think as far as blazing goes i'm not, i'm not grinding ninja road for five kage league units anymore so there is that unfortunately but this unit i don't think he's like something you absolutely need like my team's already stacked up we already have so many good units to have a full team where this dude he can be a great part but i don't necessarily need him and i don't even have enough acquisition stones to get him maxed out yet so it's just kind of pointless so that's why i'm not grinding him but even if you want him grinded out anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you the best way. Now, if you guys watch my Ninja Road video on this Ninja Road, it's going to be kind of similar, if anything. And at the same time, it's also going to be very similar to the exact team that I used for the last Ninja Road video for Night Guy. When I showed you guys how to get him maxed out on the last Ninja Road. And it is going to be using this team. Well, you can put your 5 Kaga League in any of them on this last row over here. The second team is going to be nuking for map 10, so you're going to need KCM, Naruto, the One Tail, all of these other skill units, and you need to have it like this, and we'll go ahead and boost them up, and it's pretty much the exact same as I did for the last Ninja Road, and then this team as well. I have Obito for heals, Madara, Pain, Gata, and Hashirama for AoE and nullification of Jutsu, and then Kaguya for heals and nuking as well. So yeah, this is going to be the team setup, pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, you can go ahead and switch out Obito and Kaguya for hard-hitting nukers. The rest of them, they just need to be AoE, high damage AoE. So that's what I recommend, but let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, so once you get to the first map, you can go ahead and stall up on here if you want. It really doesn't matter. I think it might be a good idea to go ahead and try to, so I'm going to go ahead and do this and try to kill off all of these white Zetsu. But yeah, this Ninja Road is pretty simple. It's easier than the last one. Uh, as long as you get through it in a timely manner so you really don't have to worry about it and this is the exact same team i used in the last ninja road as i said so it's pretty simple actually i should try to target the red one but it's all good it feels good to be back on blazing this is one thing i want to point out i know a lot of people are enjoying tribes and i know a lot of people are equally not enjoying blazing but what, what's really interesting for me is i've noticed since i've started playing tribes even just off screen i've been wanting to play blazing because i feel like i don't have to play it like I, I have other content i can make or there's just no like big hesitation to like play it or not so like i've actually been having like fun just doing my daily trials on blazing a little bit because it's just fun it's like blazing has so many memories for me like this game is still in my opinion the most polished naruto mobile game we have and it's really really fun to go back and remember all those times that I've had on this game and even making videos man this is the game I've made the most videos on ever in my life so it's very special to me but all right so we're gonna go ahead and just switch out like this so if you guys are confused as to why I have this setup because I see a lot of you guys always confused why I have this the reason that I don't use KCM Naruto on the last map is not only do I love to one shot and it's not really necessary when you use KCM Naruto it does have 30% extra damage but when you sync with the skill units, which when you have Kakashi out, the Sasuke actually gets a, a bigger boost. So the damage is actually better. So that's why I do that. And all right, let's go ahead and do this. So we'll go ahead and boost him up like so. And then you do want to make sure you bring Kakashi back out. That is absolutely important. Um, Hashirama does have less health than Kaguya did. So there is that, but it's still better safe than sorry to go ahead and do it like that. So go ahead and move down here. Go ahead and switch on out to my boy. And there we go. Oh, no, he's still hanging on. All right, so that's all you got to do for the first map is just go ahead and stall up and you'll be good. You can do it on either map first or second. I mean, you could do it here, but I feel like the white Zetsu are better to just stall up on because these ones do continuous attacks. So, all right, let's go ahead and just jump on into it now. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is chance my luck with a chakra reset. Let's go, Obito. Okay. This third anniversary, Kaka or Kakashi and Obito, man, they're really good. Mostly Obito, uh, but Kakashi is really good, too. Like, a lot of people weren't happy with third anniversary, and I feel you. Trust me. I wanted it to be like Hokage Naruto and Adol Sasuke, but these units are pretty good. Um, they're not better than... Well, it depends. They're, they're, they're really good for their uses, but the final valleys are just all around amazing for everything. PvP, PvE, everything, man. So, there is that. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and attack my boy Sai right here. But yeah, this Ninja Road is extremely simple. Uh, the first map's really just the most important part that you need to take away from this, honestly. is just that, because what it does is just it sets you up for the last map, which is the most annoying of the maps, honestly, as well. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and stay to the side right here. 
Um, I, I'll go ahead and use Obito's Jutsu because when it comes to Obito's ult, there's no point in saving it. You get three chakra back. So, and it's an ultra, well, no, it's not an ultra combo, but it depends if you have a teammate hitting it with you. So there is that. All right, I'm going to use Hashirama's Jutsu now. And then, yeah, I move on from Katsuyu. I, I do like this Ninja Road, though. I, I just haven't been grinding it, man. I, I can't grind Ninja Road over and over again like I used to. Uh, it's just not something I'm interested in, which is why going further, I'm probably only going to get every other Kage League unit up because I'll have enough ramen, whereas I'm not going to grind them most likely. All right, so we're getting to the more difficult maps. But again, if you have a lot of AoE, you should be fine. You really should. So we're not going to have Gaara's Jutsu quite yet, but that's okay because I'm going to move here and then that's going to give me a damage boost for my bravery. And that's very important to say the least. So that's why I just recommend this. And we got a Shakarisa. Let's go. That This team is just so good. It, there's a reason it worked for this Ninja Road and the last. The, the AoE is just amazing. It's so very amazing. And it just stacks together so well because Gara gets Chakra back. Madra has a chance for a Chakra reset. And then when it comes to the Hashirama and Pain, Pain can get a Chakra reset, but it's very low. As you can see, I didn't get it. And then Hashirama also has his first Jutsu, which can get you out of a pinch, along with all of these. All of these AoE units, too, can nullify Ninjutsu on one or more of their Jutsu. And Gara, well, he has a barrier on one of his as well. So it's just so good. It's such a good AoE team because they have more than just AoE. They have protection for you, which is very important. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to use my boy Killer B here. Or my boy Killer B, my boy Obito on Killer B. All right, like so, and then I don't really have any chakra, but I believe you get chakra back, if I if I remember correctly. It's been a minute since I played this Ninja Road, honestly, but at the very least, it's fine. We can go ahead and do that. Hashirama's chilling right there. Oh, he would switch seal me though. Yeah, this this map is honestly the most annoying because of the switch sealing. It just makes things a lot more difficult for no reason. Uh, but it's okay, I guess. So let's just go ahead and do this. We got a chakra reset. Let's go, boy. Obito's out here. He's out here with the chakra resets. It's just a switch ceiling. can be very bad because that does make it more annoying going further on. Uh, let's just go ahead and use Gara then. But yeah, hopefully you guys get the memo. This ninja road is simple. As long as you just bring some heals and some AoE, you'll be completely fine. So we did get our movement restricted. That's fine. I'm probably not going to get it. Oh, I did. Obito, you're amazing. So many chakra resets for days. This Obito is a god. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and move on. Uh, Gara actually has switch link resistance. So doing that was a good thing. That's why I wanted to also use his, his first jutsu. All right. So we do get all of our chakra doubled, but that might not be good enough, honestly, because we're, we're only in one position to get an ult and he's kind of weak. So if you are in a situation like this where you don't have a lot of chakra, what I recommend you do is spread out to the best of your abilities. Now, in this case, I can't. <laughs> but with that said, I do highly recommend that you spread out. I do have a barrier on Gara so as well because these units hurt. They very much so hurt. Especially once they start getting their jutsu. So I highly recommend that you do that. Um, I am still switched so far long though. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I highly recommend you spread out though. Because they can be very bad. You ideally want to bring them one at a time with you too. Because even up there just on Hashirama that could be bad. But I do have 17k health so it's insane. But the chakra double does make it easier. I'm glad they made it where the last boss you get full chakra back. That's actually kind of a good thing. Um, I guess I'll stay up here too. The thing is they have attack weakening also, so it's just it makes sense to spread out I might go ahead and just use uh, No, nah, I don't think I need to use Kage. I think I could go ahead and use not nah, I'll just stay down here Yeah, cuz I'm gonna use moderate. All right, so just save your AOE for this Honestly, I could have taken care of the eight cells a little bit more Better like you could have saved chakra up a little bit more, but eh, it's fine. We're, we're just breezing through like this ninja road I, I sound kind of like I'm just like on autopilot right now And it's cuz I am like with the last ninja road I had to be precise with what I was saying, but it's really like it's super easy This ninja road is extremely easy. So all right, we're gonna go ahead and do this I like to save pain kaguya and or obito for the next map especially because obito and kaguya have the type nullification so it doesn't really matter what we do there all right we're gonna go ahead and use my boy gata right here and this should kill off these units are kind of tanky but it's just that it's just that they do a lot of damage as well so all right let's go ahead and use my boy Mata right now as well and then the last team will be good for the 10th map that's just the biggest thing like that map alone was the most difficult for me when i first did this ninja road so it was, it's pretty good to have that 
Especially because it's the same exact typing as it was for the last Ninja Road as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and kill this man off. This here is an eat. L literally, map 7, I feel like, takes the longest out of all of this. If I would have just had my, my Jutsu when we started this, it would already be over. But sometimes it'd be like that, so... We're still making pretty good time, though, so it's not that big of a deal. And, all right, let's go ahead and take care of the Juby, my favorite boss in this game because I love the Tentails. I love my boy Obito. So, you know, Jubito. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Again, saving your AoE Jutsu is actually pretty good for this, but it's okay because we have the, like I said, Obito and Kaguya. They're actually better for this just because Obito can dodge if he gets hit by any of these. And on top of that... He nullifies the damage as well, just like with Kage right there. So it doesn't matter if we have the advantage or not. So, all right, I'm going to come in with my boy Tindo Pain. And also, because we get Chakra back after this, like I said, we can just use anything we want. But you do got to watch out for that health recovery. So the New Year's units actually are pretty good for this. But I don't really use that Sasuke, honestly. So, <laughs> so I don't even bring him on to, to this. But, okay. So, and the limbs aren't that big of a deal, too. Honestly, if I would have used Madara, Hashirama, and Gara, they would have been dead. So it's really not that big of a deal. You just have to watch out because he will stop you from healing, kind of. It will give you damage. But I just have so much health. It just doesn't matter. This team setup, you have so much health. It just honestly does not make a difference. So there we go. That takes care of the Juby. We're going to go ahead and move on into the next map. The most important part is that we're not switch sealed at all. So that makes it pretty easy to go ahead and jump on into the next map. And then on the 10th map, it's pretty simple. So once you get to this point, you're pretty much home free. But you do still need to be careful because this map is similar to the 7th map where they can be very annoying but unfortunately for them i've got tons of aoe to handle that so i'm gonna go ahead and take it so let's go ahead and use my moderate first we got a chakra reset too let's go boy i think i'm gonna go ahead and use tendo pain just to be safe because if they do want to hit me with their jutsu so let's go ahead and do this because tendo pain can nullify any jutsu with his ult which is very important and then i can come on in with my boy gar as well boy there we go it's just it's so easy <laughs> it's ridiculously easy i know i keep saying this but it is so all right we'll go ahead and deal with this right here even with the amount of damage they're doing we should still be okay so let me go ahead and do this this will kill off you know hopefully it kills off shikamaru as well and then we still have my boy madara no he's still barely alive okay that's fine though we're out here dodging as well. This team is very good for the dodges because I got Obito and I got Madara right there as well. So the dodges are really important. There we go. And that, that takes care of it. <laughs> Just with a matter of a couple AoE Jutsu, it's over with. So all right, now we're going to go ahead and nuke my boy Hashirama right here. So go ahead and switch on to this team. Now this is a little bit different from the last one because these other units do attack you first. So what I recommend doing personally is I recommend moving the one tail up to Kakashi and then just using EMS Sasuke. It's as easy as that. It's as easy as that. Again, you can use KCM Naruto if you want, but like, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and move right here. It's simple, and it, it still does enough damage. So, we're all good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and move right here. Take it off times two, so we can go ahead and nuke this man, and there you go. That is how you get 5 Kage Elite Toby maxed out pretty easily you can definitely do it a lot quicker than me i was just running through it for you all but there you go in under 10 minutes you gotta run and you just gotta do that a lot more and you'll get it maxed out eventually but again i really don't recommend it as much unless you really need him as a unit i just personally don't but this is a really e easy ninja road so a strat like this will be fine <laughs> already got a level three all right but yeah that's gonna take care of it i hope y'all enjoyed this uh, good luck grinding on the ninja road if you are and getting toby maxed out i hope y'all enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video.